evening of the roses, let us go down to the arbor. Mm. Myrrh, spices, and frankincense shall be at your feet. Mm. Night descends slowly. Mm. The smell of roses is on the wind. Mm. I will whisper to you a quiet song, mm. a song of love. Morning, your hair is covered with dew. Mm. Your mouth is like the rose morning, mm. and I will pluck it for myself. Erev shel shoshani Netzeno el abusta Mor b'sani mul el olam Night is beginning to descend slowly, and the soft wind carries the fragrance from these beautiful roses. And we are so blessed to sit in this garden. So I would ask you to bring into this garden all those who are beloved to you. We say in Hebrew, Bati Lagani Achoti Kala. I have come into this garden and I call you my sister, my friend, my bride, my groom. Whoever it is we hold, especially those we hold in that place of unconditional love, and to call them into this lovely garden with us tonight, to help us to completely open our hearts to the night, to the wind, to the clouds, to the flowers, to all of the small creatures who live around here, the little rabbits, the birds, the mice. Beginning to anticipate the sunset in about another hour. And to remember those with whom we have an unbreakable bond a bond of love and affection and trust and perhaps memory as well. 
those with whom our souls feel at ease, those who we have gravitated towards out of friendship or attraction or compassion or simply alignment. Perhaps those we have shared some wonderful and deep experience with. And as you see their faces and their beings, and you feel that sense of comfort and expansion with them, I would ask you now to also call in those with whom you would hope to have such a comfortable relationship with. Perhaps those who you would like to include in the company of the beloveds, but for who whatever reasons have become more distant either geographically or emotionally or spiritually. See who it is you would like to bring closer and envelop in the beauty of this evening. To gently ask them to come make a few steps in your direction. show them that it is safe and open and welcoming and non-judgmental and healing. Some of our beloveds are the beloveds of the past <clears throat> whom we still hold in our hearts but who are no longer so much part of our life. And to know that in this great expansion that we are heading towards, great opening into the higher dimensions, potential for being in the spiritual energy more of the time, that all are welcome and that the gates will be open for everybody who wishes to go through as we are walking towards the summer solstice and the big shift in energy there, let us imagine that we are inviting with us all of our friends and all of our relations and all of those who long for greater connection to the Divine One. for 